about the mission of the Annenberg School. Walter Annenberg, for whom the school is named, is quoted as having said, I shall participate, I shall contribute, and in so doing, I will be the gainer. We gain a great deal by giving. And our student speaker represents the spirit of political participation and social contribution that Walter Annenberg espoused. She exhibited a positive influence on the Undergraduate Communication Society, creating a sense of community among undergraduate majors. Additionally, she is involved in Penn's International Affairs Association, the MEX at Penn Student Association, the Wharton Latino Association, and she was editor-in-chief of Reflections Literacy Magazine, a project of the American School Foundation in Mexico City, Mexico. Her professional talents were recently recognized when she became the recipient of a WPP fellowship, which is a three-year leadership program aimed at developing high-caliber management talent run by the international communication company of the same name, WPP. Her talents, her dedication, and her outgoing and friendly personality make her the ideal candidate to be our student speaker and to speak on behalf of her class. Please welcome to the podium, Monica Gottschalk. Thank you very much, Dean Jackson, distinguished faculty and staff, honored guests, and of course, my fellow graduates. Imagine you're behind the wheel of a race car. The light has finally turned yellow, and your foot is hovering just above the accelerator. You don't have time to think about the speed bumps, the sharp turns, or the other race cars. It's just you and the road. Drew Koblitz is one of Annenberg's many distinguished alumni, and that's exactly what he does for a living. He's a race car driver. Now, I know that's probably not what most of you were thinking you would be doing once you graduate, but at the end of the day, even though we may not all become race car drivers, we are still in the driver's seat. It doesn't matter where we are headed, who is coming with us, or how long it will take us to get there. What matters is the serendipity of the journey. What matters is that your passions are the fuel that is keeping you going. And in this case, there is no high-pitched GPS voice telling you to turn left at the signal, because there is no signal. The road is yours for the taking. And no matter where our diverse interests may lead us, we will know that our roads and our paths converged right here at the Annenberg School. And today, it is up to us to stop following a path and start leaving a trail. And this room is bursting with people who are going to leave a trail. Seated beside me are some of the most talented and inspiring individuals who have yet to pass through these doors. This graduating class has shined in all aspects of extracurricular and curricular activities at Penn, really exemplifying our work hard, play hard model. And just as Annenberg has given us so many choices in terms of courses of study, our roads will have many turns that will cater perfectly to our very different interests. And we will take wrong turns, but at every wrong turn, we can always find a U-turn a few blocks away to take us back to where we started. And regardless of our distinct journeys, we all share a very common drive that will forever propel us forward, our passion for communications. I grew up in a world where hola and hello were part of the same dialogue. At two years old, I could not distinguish the words that I was speaking from their national origin. English, Spanish, and Hebrew were the tools of the trade in my multinational Jewish-Mexican household, and I was fascinated with the interaction of words and the diffusion of ideas. I knew I wanted to reach out to as many people as possible. I wanted to connect with them through my language, through their language, or through some magical, nonverbal communication that everyone could understand. I knew I wanted to study communications, and there's no better place in the world to do that than right here at Annenberg. After all, every great race car driver needs practice, fine-tuning, and polishing. 
and we have been fortunate enough to be trained by the masters of our craft. Our teachers have inspired us, challenged us, and motivated us to exceed even our greatest expectations. They sat patiently in the passenger seat, they gave us directions, they shone light onto our roads, and it is now up to us to make the rides worthwhile. We must remember, however, that our teachers are not the only ones seating in our cars. The people in the audience today, our parents, our families, our friends, they have always been keeping us company. And even though no one likes a backseat driver, on the morning of our graduation, we can finally see some truth to the guidance our parents have been giving us all of these years. Our passions are what drive us, but our loved ones are what's going to keep us going. And at least having them join us for the ride is going to make it more interesting. Up until now, we have always had someone giving us direction. Sometimes, even if we didn't want them. Many of us would love to have Allison handing out personal roadmaps to success at the end of this ceremony. That would certainly make our decisions in the future much easier. But trust me on this, our achievements will taste so much sweeter if they are driven by our own choices. And our struggles will seem so much smaller if we escape from them through our own devices. Annenberg has taught us to process knowledge and tailor it to our own perspective. I know you have every tool needed to succeed and you can accomplish this journey completely on your own. But if you ever get lost along the way, you should always be humble enough to ask for directions. I can only imagine the trail that we will leave. I can only imagine what it will be like to come back here for our 5, 10, 20 or even 50 year reunion and see the familiar faces who inspired us just as much as our teachers did. Not all of us will be race car drivers. Some of us will be on TV. Some of us will be writing about others who are seated next to you. But whatever we end up doing, I hope that you are enjoying the ride. Because that's the thing about Annenberg students. That's what sets us apart from everyone else. We will infuse every mile of our journey with unparalleled passion and enthusiasm. Today, our fuel tanks are brimming over with the love and excitement that is reflected from everyone seated in this room. We have fine-tuned our skills. We have learned to accept direction. We, we have discovered our talents. We have practiced our passions. We have people seated in our cars whose love and support and motivation will never waver. And we have people seated in the passenger seat who we can always turn to for advice. There is absolutely nothing stopping us before the light turns green. So today, my fellow graduates, class of 2012, it is finally time to start our engines. Thank you very much.